Hi, friends. What's going on, boys? This is a very important video to me, and I have to say this real quick. Please listen to the whole video, but I got to say this real quick. I have an album dropping this Friday, September 13th. It's called Pale Horse. It's an album I did, a joint album with me and my lifelong friend Mises. Please go get it. Please go listen to it. Steal it. Stream it. However you listen to music, go do it. It's important. Uh, and this is the more important part to me. This part that I'm about to say right here. You guys might see, I'll use myself for example. You might see the likes on social media and the views and the music videos and and, and the tour buses and tour and out on stage and, and think, wow, this... This must be a really nice life you got. What you don't see is behind the curtain, the the kind of damage it does to me, myself, mentally. The strain it puts on relationships with my children, my wife, my friends and people around me. The pressure I voluntarily put on myself and then have these bouts of kind of like lost in my mind and, and confused and kind of anger. I guess what I'm saying is what you see looks great, but what I feel doesn't. I'm trying to share with you the most human side of me as I can. What I guess what I'm saying is if it was, my job was just making music and putting it out and you guys listen to it, that'd be great. But that's not my job. There's, I'm at 100% independent and always will be independent artist. I take my own money and I sh spend money on these videos and these beats and these um, whatever, the, the, my ideas in my head, the clothing, everything that I do. It's a gamble. I, I put all this money together to create an album that you might like. I spend all day thinking about this content to create for you guys that you might like. And I stopped doing this shit for myself a long time ago. It was a dream of mine, but I stopped doing this for myself a long time ago. I do this now only for my family and you guys. And you can ask yourself, well, Adam, why don't you just stop if it's that much of a pain in the ass? Because this was my dream and I'm finally here and I finally made it here. I'm not just gonna give it up. I'll quit when I feel like I've done enough. That's another thing. This was my dream. I didn't know when you get here in your dream you got like, you put your whole life out there and you got people who make a living, they're professional the trolls that, 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 that will talk shit about your life and talk shit about you and they don't even, ha they don't even have the balls to go, you know, as far, you're talking about being homeless, living on other people's couches, putting yourself in the most unsafe positions or, or not being well off on, on anything and just being out there and, and, and being away from your family to, to have a chance at doing what I do. Some of these albums I've recorded, I've been away from my family for months, on tour, away from my family for months. You live through FaceTimes and, and watch your kids grow up as you're going and chasing this dream because you want them to have a better life than, than you had. And then, then I have this doubt in my mind, like, am I good enough? What do people think of me? Wow, people think this of me and that, they don't even know me. Or, or wow, this guy, it's a grown man crying or, or when he puts his arm around me to take a picture, I can feel his arm trembling. Like, it, like it, I can't believe I made that much of an impact on, on some people. So you go out and you do all these huge things and then you come back home to your house, to your family, and you try to, be normal you try to be dad it's such a such a fucking hard weird uh life to, to to try to balance it and you guys might be thinking what is this guy rambling about i i'm trying to explain to you how it feels to be me and i know there's other artists out there if they watch this i hope you're watching this they're gonna understand i know that i can't tell you how many days i've been completely depressed, miserable, and things like that. And I get on my story, I'm like, what's up guys? How did you, do? You, you see that, you don't you don't know though that I'm going through absolute hell. And you can ask yourself, well, why are you going through hell? Cause this shit fucking sucks. If the job was just putting out music, making the music and putting it out and everyone's like, yeah, this shit's the shit. 
That'd be great, but that's not. I'm independent. I have to talk to my audience. I have to fucking wake up. I have to fucking put in the work. I have to fucking be known, be relevant. I have to do this so you guys are aware of who the fuck I am and you listen to me. I have to pull out the insides of me and give them to you so you relate to me, you understand who I am and fuck with me or choose, I don't really like this guy and you don't fuck with me. I tell you this too. For the working motherfuckers out there, oh, I miss you guys. I would rather be physically tired from working my ass off all day than mentally exhausted from using my mind to create things out of thin air that people love. Someone asked me, Adam, when you look back at your career, are you happy about it? And I said, I'll tell you when I'm done because that's the part that matters. When I'm all done with this, uh, if I can look back and be like, fuck yeah, I still feel all right. I'm, I'm, t I'm picking up little pieces of my heart and little pieces of my soul that I left down the road that I traveled because when I'm on, on the stage, I'm giving you a piece of myself. I'm away from my family. I'm giving you a piece of myself. When I'm writing these albums, I'm giving you a piece of myself. So I hope when it's all done, I can go and grab these little pieces that I left on the way and, and, and feel complete again. I, I am grateful. I am grateful. I love the people that support my music, support my career, support me, which in turn supports my family. I am grateful. I'm, I can almost start crying right now. You guys know me, when I'm out on that stage, I, I hate I hate being out on that stage for like the first five minutes, my eyes are closed. And then I finally open my eyes and I make eye contact with some of you guys. But my favorite part is when I get off that stage and I jump in the crowd or when the, when the show's over and I, and I go out into the crowd and I, I just get to talk to, 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 to people that are regular, just like me. You guys have seen me on the internet, yelling and angry, funny. I've shown compassion. I show you that I'm lost. My job is to show you guys the losses is just as important as the wins that I've had. And I show you all of it. I am not done. I am not done yet. But one day, I'm gonna shut this motherfucking phone off and go live my life. And I'm not gonna make an announcement about my departure. I have in the past, I'm like, oh, it's my last rap album. It's my... The reason I say this, cause I don't know how much I got. I have to ask myself, Adam, how much more you got left in, in you to keep doing this? And that's why I say, oh, it's my last album. This is my last, it's be... the reason I, it's not my last is cause I'm so fucking competitive and I don't wanna just give it up. But I will shut this motherfucker off one day and, that, and that'll be it. And, I, and I, I won't look back and be like, oh man, what if I would've did this? No, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go till I can't go no more. I'm praying, I'm lifting, I'm running, and I'm trying to find out more about myself as a person. I should have nothing to complain about. I'm just telling you guys a sneak peek inside of me. <laughs> inside of me, that sounds fucking weird. Uh, you know, I got to drop my daughter off at preschool today. Amazing, beautiful. There's so much. I have a lot of beautiful days in my life, but some of the hard days are fucking hard, man. And 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 guess what? You're not alone out there, uh, and none of you. We, we, we're all in this shit together. We all we have some good months and we got some terrible months. When it rains, it pours. You know, like fucking bottom of the barrel type shit. Like fucking feeling depressed or you don't even want to get out of your fucking bed. I feel so good right now talking about this. I, 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 I got goosebumps and I could, I, I'm trying not to cry. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it there for now. More videos on the way, more of my life on the way, more tours on the way until, 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 I'm, until I feel like, okay, I, I did it. I did it. I left. I left my mark how I want to, and I'm walking out of here how I want to. God willing. I love you guys. I'm grateful. I'm independent. I'll never sign a contract. I've been offered. I, it's not happening. I want to say what I want to say. Fuck Kamala Harris. I want to say what I want to say. I'm not down with all these, what they're doing to these little kids and teaching the school and boys are, think they're girls. I'm not down with I can say anything I want to say because I'm independent. Go Trump. I love America. I love my country. I can't stand this government. I love you guys. Uh, we still got 
the ways to go down this road. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys! Oh, yeah, and if you're still here and made it this far, Friday. Friday, come on, man. I, bet I put everything I got into this shit for you guys. Friday, Pale Horse, September 13th, album. Let's go.